Today on the channel, from the latest wave of Super 7 Ultimates, Thundercats Edition, we've got Captain Hammerhand. The spirit of the Living Warrior will run Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Thundercats unboxing and review. And today on the channel, from the latest Thundercats wave, we've got Captain Hammerhand. But remember, for all your Thundercats needs and a whole lot more, hit up Entertainment Earth. Use the link in the description below to save 10% on all in-stock items, and it gets better from there. You can use Sunfree 2022 to get free shipping as well on all in-stock items and everything else you do purchase over there. So check out the link in the description below if you're looking for this or anything else over there at Entertainment Earth. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at old Captain Hammerhand. Uh, but first, here is the outer shell as we always take a look at this thing, Thundercats logo. Nothing fun on the back, but I always say I recommend saving those, of course. People want their... I like to protect my packaging because I do keep all these. I don't know how long I can do it. I'm going to have to build a separate garage or something just for packaging at this point. So I don't think it's going to get to that far into it, but uh, very interesting. Make sure you save your packaging like I always say. A little stickiness on the side of this thing somehow. Uh, but there it is. It's Of course, he is a bad guy. So we got the old Mumra logo over there looking good. Captain Hammer Hand. Don't call him Hammer Head, but Hammer Hand. Of course, Thundercats logo. Thundercats logo on the back. Then we slide off the old slipcase cover like we always see with Super 7 Ultimates. And we get down to business right there looking really good. Get the old blade out. Let's get this cut. There it is. And let's take a look at him. There he is. Look at that. Big, big figure. Looking good. Everybody likes a captain, of course. Especially Captain and Tennille. We all know about them. Uh, but it looks really good there. Thundercats logo, Captain Hammerhand, all kinds of accessories. Ultimates on the top. Nothing on the sides. And then the back is where all the magic happens, of course. We'll read the blurb. Let's see what old Captain Hammerhand is up to. Captain Hammerhead is a ruthless cyborg raider Ooh. and leader of the Berserkers who sail Third Earth in search of delicious unicorns. Oh, beautiful this time of year. Over an open flame. Oh, you can't get better than that. Feared for his powerful metal arm, he often acts as a mercenary and has even been enlisted by Mumra himself. Following a battle with the Thundercats, he and the Berserkers appeared to drown in a whirlpool, but Mumra later invoked his spirit, placing it into a clone of Panthro, who proceeded to wreak havoc until he was thwarted. Man, all kinds of crazy stuff going on on Third Earth back in the 80s. Uh, no doubt about it in my mind. Uh, without further ado, let's get him out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about. I love a good Berserker, especially old Zach Wild and uh, the Black Label Society. Uh, the Berserker's running wild right there. But there he is in the plastic prison. Look at that. Looking good right there. All right, let me take him offline. Let me get him out of the package, and we'll be back talking all things Hammerhand. All right, the good captain is out of the package. Let's start it off like we always do. Let's look at his accessories first, then we'll dig into old Hammerhead here. Uh, let's start off with some regular hands plus the hammer hand, I guess. Uh, we do got a kind of mangly hand, a little, uh, you know, monster type hand right there. So we do have one of those. Uh, we do have a fist. I'm happy to report we have a fisted hand for him. And then we got one finger curled up like he's telling him to come here or something like that. But we have that. And then we do have a gripping, traditional gripping hand that comes on the figure. So uh, some good hands there. Then we get the hammer hand hand. Oh boy, that's easy to mess up. But we do got the big hand here, very blockish, uh, very locked into place. This one seems to have articulation, which I was surprised. I was not aware of that. Uh, this one has no articulation. It's just a straight up hammer hand but it does have a nice gray to it and then the yellow uh, around it to really blend in with the figure but it is technically a hand it's got a peg in there and everything uh, so we do have that then we get over here we got two little sacks and i have to assume there's money in here i wish it had a little cartoon money bag symbol but uh you know berserkers you know captains they're doing anything to get gold coins things like that it's very stereotypical of a pirate out there and a berserker uh, so we have two of those going on we get down to this final thing. He does have a little uh, blaster weapon here. It's like a sawed-off shotgun type thing. It's all taped up right there. Uh, nice sculpt with the black and the tan and the brown. Uh, looks really, really good. I like the looks of this, but that is his little blaster weapon. Seems like maybe a hair small, but it works. It definitely works. So we have that. Then we have the extra head. We'll compare that here in a second. But let's grab old Hammerhand here. 
And man, this is an interesting one. I like this a lot. I remember his original toy. My friend did have it, so I did spend some time with it. I remember it being a little chunkier than this. Uh, this feels a little bit like a traditional figure, at least in the body. But obviously the arms and the head is where things uh, take a different turn a little bit. But uh, breaking down the head here first, he's got one red eye and one mechanical eye. Got a big old Viking beard going on, long hair, ponytail. Looks awesome. I love it. I love the extra fluff in the mustache. Very, very cool looking here. And then he does, of course, have a Viking Berserker helmet going on with the red and yellow, two different color points, and then a yellow hat there. He does got a kind of football jersey vest kind of thing going on, shoulder pads, whatever you want to call it, that don't go over his shoulder. So I guess it's more of a, a chest protector, we'll call it. But it is all in black. And then you get down to his first arm right here. And this is where business really picks up. Uh, a lot of articulation in this arm. Uh, you do get a bicep cut. You do get the shoulders that move around. You do get single jointed elbows. It's just like a regular arm. Then this is the hand. So you got the turn here. Of course, you can replace it with the other hand we showed. Very, very cool. A little bit heavy. It'll be interesting if it slowly weighs him over and he you know, topples on your shelf. Uh, we'll talk about stands for him in a little bit. But then you do get down to the traditional hand. And one thing I guess I maybe forgot is most likely, because they always announce these things, and then, of course, a year to get them, sometimes longer, sometimes two years. Uh, we did get this guy, uh, but I probably forgot he had articulation in his hands here. So he's got four fingers that you can move around, and then a thumb as well, so you can move that around. I think that's a really cool feature as well. Looks really good. Uh, the good captain been doing a lot of sit-ups out on the ship. Uh, he's got quite the ripped uh, abs there. He's all in on that. Very cool belt buckle with skull and crossbones, or I guess just a skull with bones and a nice red to kind of break up some of the color monotony. Uh, yellow pants going on. And then he's got a regular foot, a very captain's foot or a very pirate foot with the boots and everything black. But then to match the opposite side here, he's got the big boot going on with a mechanical boot with a different color, uh, bigger foot as well. Just really, really good looking here throughout. I like the looks of this guy. He looks really good. Then we get an extra head sculpt, and man, I might use this one as well. It's the mad Captain Hammerhand. He's got his teeth open. His teeth are gnarly. Uh, looks really good. Looks like a captain that we'd see uh, mad out there at the world. Uh, but very, very cool. I like this, and like I think I'm going with this one as the one I'm going to display. But very, very cool. A lot of personality in this figure, too. It just feels like a lot of personality. Uh, but very, very nice. Let's see. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%, as I always say. And make sure you get the Mattel stands. And, of course, he fits like a glove right there on the Mattel ringside collectible stand. Once again, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Fits perfectly right there. Like that a lot. I like this one. A little bit, I wouldn't say a deep cut, but definitely deeper than the Mutants, deeper than the Thundercats, Mumra, stuff like that. And we're going to start branching this line out a little bit. I'm all here for that. I'm cool with a branch out of the line here. We do know one of the upcoming Super 7 waves, uh, the next wave, I guess we're going to pre-order, is going to be throwback additions to the old toys, kind of like the toys made today, like they're doing with the Super 7 Turtles. So that is in our near future. But then they have said, the Super 7 team, that we're going to get back to this. I'm sure we're going to get the Luna Tax. We'll get some more of these deep cut guys out there. And I'm sure some repaints and re-releases like Lino we talked about in the Mirror video, if you check that one out on the channel. If not, what were you waiting for? And speaking of Lino, let's check him side by side. Uh, Lino is taller than him, which I always think of this guy a little bit taller, Captain Hammerhead, than Lino, but is what it is. I also got Pumira right here, so you can kind of compare that height difference right there. And then, of course, Slythe. One of the jewels of the Thundercats wave is the Slythe figure. Just really awesome. And I also had that one as a kid, which was really cool, too. All these years later, getting an updated version of this. But he looks good. He fits in with the rest of the crew. I'm going to put him off to the side with my old buddy Captain Crackers. Have the two Crackers displayed together, or two Captains more like it, displayed together. But man, I'm here for all the Thundercats they can give us. It's just, uh, it's just painful that you have to wait a full year. You pre-order and then you got a year wait. Uh, it just always seems to take forever that year, but sometimes it does go faster, as we know. So it uh, depends where you sit on that one. But very, very cool. But what do you guys think in the comments down below? Let me know about your thoughts on Captain Hammer Hand. Did you have the old school one? Is this your first time around the sun with him? Let me know all your thoughts on Thundercats and the Ultimates Wave as well. Uh, make sure you like this video. It always supports the channel. You made it this far. You might as well give the old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. You don't want to miss a video. We got a ton every single day, and you want to be alerted to the ones you want to watch for sure so hit the old notification bell you can also follow along on social media sir paul 64 on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson 
ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and then of course the Patreon, where you can get this video, many other videos much, much earlier, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, and best of all, you support the channel. So check out the old Patreon. So for Captain Hammerhand and the latest wave of Super 7 Ultimates, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.